Hi everyone, welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday. My name is Molly and I am the Wellness Supervisor here at Bircham Hills. So today I thought I would talk a little bit more about practical and safe ways that we can go about picking objects up off the floor. Now I know for some that seems kind of like why are we talking about this? But for folks who have balance problems, that can be a really scary task, that fear of falling, you know, always lingering in the back of your mind. So this video will be probably pretty short, sweet and to the point, but hopefully it's educational and informational as well. So let's get started here. So let's say that I'm here in a seated position and I drop something on the floor, right? The easiest way to go about this is to spread my feet apart and reach down and pick it up. And that's not too complicated, right? Now for some folks, there is a lack of flexibility that enables them to get down. And even for some folks, just that feeling of coming forward makes them feel like, oh my gosh, I might you know, fall out of my chair here. So some options you can explore. There are some really cool grabber gadgets. They look like a long extended arm. They've got a little pull trigger right here and the end pinches. I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about and poorly describing. Having a grabber at home, whether you keep it in a, in a specific place, whether you have a couple that you keep throughout the house, if you have a walker, one that you keep on your walker, it's a really, really good gadget to have and it comes in handy. I know many of the residents here at Bircham Hills have these and utilize them in their own apartments. Another option, especially like I said, if you feel like leaning forward is gonna kind of tip you out of your chair, is always to ask for help, right? I know that not everybody has a living situation in which they have someone else there with them, which is why I wanna go over these alternative tricks and tips. But hopefully between either having a grabber or being able to sit, spread those legs apart and you know, reaching down to pick it up, right, will be a good solution for you. But let's go ahead and say that I'm not in a position where I'm seated and I'm standing. Let's take a look at what to do in that instance. So sometimes when we're out and about, we accidentally drop things. I myself am a Butterfingers and do this all the time. So I've got my badge here and I've dropped it. Now this is something that I go over with our residents quite a bit in our fall prevention class because getting down to the ground can be a bit tricky on our balance. But not only that, depending on if we do it correctly or incorrectly, it can put a fair amount of strain on our joints, not just in that getting down motion, but if we were to lose our balance and fall. So for example, I'll show you kind of the wrong way to do it. So one of the ways I've seen people try to go about picking objects off the floor is they'll come and have that object on the side of them. And they'll bend and try to lean down this way. Another way I've seen people do it is they'll kind of crane their knees in and come down like this. So let's talk about why those aren't great options. So for starters, the side bend. Looking at that from the front, you can tell that most of my weight is here on this foot, right? And anytime we're doing any type of single leg balance, that's a lot of weight that that leg has to support. And it's a smaller base of support that's supporting us overall. Not to mention, if I were to fall, that's putting not only my hip and my knee, but also my arm in a really precarious situation. The second one, if we come in like this. Now, I'm pretty sure you don't need me to tell you that our knees are not supposed to bend like that, right? <laughs> when we bend our knees, we want them to track forward over our feet, over our toes. When we're in this position here, if we were to lose our balance, that's already a ton of internal rotation on the hip. We're already getting a lot of extra pressure on the outside or I guess inside of that knee there. And if we were to fall, we're just gonna twerk them further. So instead, what we would want to do, if I grab my keys here, 
is we want to position ourselves so that the object we are trying to pick up is in between our feet here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a squat to get down. So one of the things I like to reiterate in my balance class is that when we're squatting, we want to make sure that we're keeping our weight balanced not only from left to right, but from front to back. So standing here, you can see that I'm balanced from left to right. I have equal amounts of weight on both my left foot and my right foot. So now if I were to turn, most people, when they initially try to squat, they end up in a position like this. And we've kind of maxed out the flexion of our ankles. We might start to feel some pulling in that quadratic tendon right there. And we're not really getting anywhere, right? So while you do want to bend your knees while you squat, you also want to bend at the hips. So whatever goes in front of my body also has to balance out in the back, right? So what that means is as I push my bottom back, I'm going to allow my shoulders to come forward again, so I'm staying balanced from front to back here. So I tell folks, pretend that there's a chair right behind you, right? And you're pushing your bottom back like you're going to sit on the chair. You can see how my shoulders are lined up over my toes. My back is pretty flat and I can even use my hands here for additional support. So while I'm in that squat position, I'm balanced again from left to right and from front to back. And I'm able to get down even further to grab here, right? Because of that balance, it's going to make it a lot less likely that I'm going to lose my balance, but in the case that I do, I'm in a position that's going to protect my joints a little bit more than the other two that I showed you. Now, obviously, if you have a walker, if you have a cane, if you have a piece of furniture nearby and your balance is something that worries you, it is always a good option to put one hand on that stable object for support like so. Or even if you have a grabber, right? Even just squatting down a little bit so that your grabber can extend down further. That's a good option as well. But the main thing I want you to take away from that is that if you're in a standing position, you need to pick something up off the floor. There's no one around to help, so something you gotta do, right? It's the remote, gotta change the channel. <laughs> Line it up in between your feet. Bend those knees, push the hips back, let the chest come forward. Again, I'll show you from the side here, right? I can put my hands here if I need to. If I have an object nearby, I can grab that, reach down and grab, stand all the way back up. So there you have it. I hope that those tips were helpful. I hope that you know, you're able to take something away from this. Have a great rest of your Wellness Wednesday, and we'll see you here next week. Thank you.